Welcome to Add a Little Dazzle. Today you will learn how to create an embossed flap for your envelope. In addition, I will teach you how I have added dazzling diamonds to create a very elegant look to this envelope which will beautifully hold your handmade card. So let's get started. To begin creating your envelope flap, you will take a two and a half by six inch piece of Whisper White cardstock. You will take this piece and you will place it inside the impressions folder of your choice. In this case, I am using the Lacy Brocade impressions folder and I will place it in there and I will run this through my Big Shot. Once I have done that, I will end up with a beautiful piece such as this one. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my envelope and here is my flap. Now, I do my flaps a little bit different. I don't like to emboss directly on it because then it makes it difficult when I want to lick and seal that envelope for that to happen because of the grooved edges with the embossing. So the way that I find best to do that is by attaching it so that you see there are no grooves and then your envelope will seal nicely without a problem. Now that I have embossed this two and a half by six inch piece, I'm going to attach it to the flap of my envelope. In order to do that, I'm going to use my Anywhere glue stick from Stampin' Up! And I'm going to open it up and I'm just going to run it along my envelope flap right up to the edge. And then all around, I want to make sure that I get the four walls of the flap really good because you don't want the cardstock coming off. So now that I've done that, I will take my two and a half by six inch piece of Whisper White cardstock. I will attach it right there, adjust it as needed, and then I will take my brayer and I will go over it. Um, both sides. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut around where the the excess and so all I'm going to leave is my flap as you see here and so like I said this allows the flap area not to become damaged from the embossing which will make it harder to seal your envelope and here you go and here is my beautiful embossed flap now I like to add a little bling bling to it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my stamping up two-way glue pen and I'm going to go over quickly over the areas that are embossed it doesn't have to be perfect you just wanna go over it a little bit to make sure that the glue is in those areas and so here I'm showing you how I do it and I will continue doing this until I've covered my entire flap. I have now completely covered the embossed area with my two-way glue pen and I'm ready to add some dazzle to it and so here's my dazzling diamonds I'm gonna pour the put the flap in there over this section and so I'm gonna take my spoon scoop up some dazzling diamonds and go over the entire area that is embossed and I will remove any excess and you are done and now you have a beautiful glittery shimmery elegant flap to coordinate beautifully with your handmade greeting card. As you can see this envelope is stunning. This envelope is perfect for your handmade greeting card and with so many different impressions folders from Stamping Up to Choose From you can't go wrong. If you would like to order Stamping Up product and any of these impressions folders we invite you to visit us at www at a little dazzle.com. In addition, you can also purchase at a little dazzle metal sheets, accessories, 
planners, tutorials, and much more. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at monica at com. Thanks and have a dazzling day. <laughs>